fight and die in the name of freedom. They speak of liberty and justice, but for who? Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him, to Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. 
These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. We're here. Let's go. All right, let's go. Oh. Hey, wait up, guys. <sighs> Savior of the world over here. Just leaving me behind. It's okay. Oh. What's this? In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. <sighs> yep. It's pretty exciting. Here we go. Can see some stuff. Oh. Hmm. I think we're here.
Oh. The key. You must find the key. Excuse me? Son. Oh. Sir. What the? Here we go again. Oh. Desmond? Do you hear us? <sighs> yes. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So uh -huh. naturally you dropped me into the animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... Yeah. No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Oh. Okay, Desmond. While you yeah. were uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up uh -huh. a software update for the Animus. I'd like to oh. run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. <coughs> All right. Go ahead. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Okay. Oh, the marker is also moving. Okay, Desmond. Yeah. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Okay. Oh. So running is is just R two now. You don't have to hold X. Sure, why not? There we go. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. Okay. Who? That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Kill them with what? Oh. Oh. Did I do it? I guess so. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hello. It's awkward. Um, can I do that again? Oh no. This is uh. All right. Well, I'm really sorry about this. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Mhm. Mm oh. Okay. Did I do it? Oh. Oops. Hold only. I was holding only. Okay. Maybe... Oh. Oh, oh. I mean, you could have picked a color other than white, but... It's too late for that now, I guess. How much further? Are you not satisfied yet? There you go. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Right. Why am I... 
A colonial man? What's going on here, Rebecca? Sir? Sir? What? Everything alright, sir? Yes, fine. Oh. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. For where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Is this one of my ancestors? It has to be, right? Otherwise, why am I seeing him? Alright, I guess I've got no choice. There you go. Out of the way. Don't bother. <clears throat> New email received. Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Guess I'll go find a seat. This way, please. Thank you. Excuse me. My apologies. Pardon me. Coming through. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Alright. I'm sorry everyone, but um I don't know I don't know who decided to to have the um subtitle background be like this slimy blue but yeah we're going to get rid of it now sorry about that everyone let's continue Uh, oh. There we go. Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I already have. So, Black Mall at Sec Word of Trial comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. <clears throat> All right, off I go then. Pardons. So sorry, oh, my apologies. Oh, okay. And no one is going to see this? Sure. <laughs> Tried to jump there. There we go. Slow and steady, does it? Alright, there we go. Pick lock, eh? Okay. Oh. 
I see. Okay, I guess we're going this way. I've got a bit of stage fright. A little Dutch courage up with a bloom in your cheek. Uh oh. I really should have thought about this before I did it. Found another way. Yes, but then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Okay then, mission accomplished. Sorry about order. this. We must have order. It happened we right must leave at once. What are those this men doing? I'm staying where it's safe. Pardon me. Move! Move! Order! We must have hey. order. Where are you going? <laughs> It was a good show, though, wasn't it? Shame, shame about the murder, but other than that, it's a pretty good show. Hmm. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or... Our enemies, should they find it first? They won't. You've seen to that.
I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. All right, though. Boston, here we come. Share might do me good. Hmm. Here we are on the Providence. It's one of the many sailing ships in the British Merchant Navy, which basically means it was a, it was a trade ship rather than one meant for war. You'll notice it's carrying cannon, but those are mainly for protection against pirate or privateer vessels. Or for turning the ship into a privateer vessel, should the need arise. The ship was built in 1748 and made several trips a year between Britain and the North American colonies, with occasional visits to the West Indies. The manifest doesn't indicate anything particularly interesting, mostly it carried staples like tea, molasses, and cloth, it's captained by its part owner, one Samuel Smythe, who got something of a reputation among sailors for both cruelty to his crew and penny-pinching on ration. rations. <clears throat> Incidentally, that's not exactly a way to keep good sailors on board. The crew is probably both inexperienced and disgruntled. Ideally, you want an experienced crew who are hugely gruntled. Although you likely don't know much about running an 18th century sailing vessel, Odds are, you won't notice the difference. Alright, thank you for that. Oh, Little sheepies. That's nice. Hello? Nine Men's Morris. Sometimes referred to as Cowboy Checkers. Nine Men's Morris is a board game that dates back to at least to the Roman Empire. It's played on a board with nine stones for each player. Players are alternately play stones. Three stones in a row give a player the right to remove an opposing stone. Leave the opponent with less than three pieces or block all his possible moves. Form mills to capture enemy pieces. A mill is formed when three of your pieces are placed in a straight line. Forming a mill allows the player to take an enemy piece of their choice that is not already part of a mill. Players place their pieces one after the other in, a, in any empty on the board. Players take turn moving their pieces to a neighboring empty slot. When a player is left with only three pieces, he can move them at any empty slots on the board. Do you want to play first? Um, okay, sure, yeah, I'll play first. I'll place uh, one here. 
Anything about that? Uh, okay. I'll place one here. Damn it. I'll place one here. Damn it. I'll place one here. This game sucks. <laughs> I'll place one. I'll place one here. <laughs> this is the worst game ever. I'll place one here. Well, now I have to place one here. Uh. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's not where I w where I would have placed it, but you know, you're the expert here. I'll place one here. <laughs> See, that's the problem playing with an AI. They're programmed to to block any attempts at winning. That's why these games are usually played against a human opponent, not not an artificial opponent. Uh, I think we're all out of moves. Uh, okay, maybe... Let's try this one. Nobody's gonna win. It's gonna be a draw. Use the police selector to... Oh! I see. Now we get to move things around. Ah. This could be. Might be able to turn the tides with this. Let's see. Yeah. Place it here. Oh. It has to be adjacent. Okay. Place it here. Well, he's gonna win. <clears throat> um, is this adjacent? No. <laughs> okay. Uh. Let's place it here. I don't know. He's gonna win. This round, at least. He's gonna put this down here. Oh, you're gonna take that one? Uh... Okay. I'll put this here. Uh-huh. Think about that. Oh. Um... Hmm... Put this here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He can he can move them back and forth, and that counts. Uh, this game's retarded. I'm I'm done. This game is <laughs> this game is boo boo, man. How do sailors not kill each other? They're playing these dumb games. <sighs> Good morning, Doctor. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. Hmm. As do I. Thank you for the kind words. Of course, sir. 
Until later. A moment to talk? Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Hello. Lord Martin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. What happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the motive? They've ruled out robbery. So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. Hmm. So I've heard. Alright, uh, you. Are you playing Three Little Mice or whatever the game's called? Oh. Fanorona. Fanorona is believed to have originated in Madagascar. It is played on a nine row by five column um, board of intersecting lines. Each player places 22 black or white pieces on the board and tries to capture the opponent's pieces by moving his own along the lines and either approaching an opposing stone or withdrawing from one. Uh, capture all the opponent's pieces. Capture the opponent's pieces by moving toward them or away from them. When a piece is taken, all consecutive opponent's pieces standing behind that piece will also be captured. Capturing moves are mandatory. No capture moves are is possible. Player can move one piece to a neighboring empty slot. Um, if a capturing move is possible, keep chaining. Uh, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Let's give this, let's give this a shot. Uh, use the piece selector to... Okay. So, I'm I'm guessing I'm white. Okay, I can only move these specific pieces. Uh... Sure. Don't... Don't patronize me. This is my first game. Yeah, see that? Like that? Oh. Okay. What do you think about that? Oh. Let's go over here. Okay, I see. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but... Um... Okay. Okay, don't mind if I do. Oh. You're no fun at all, mister. That's it? That's all I can do? Oh, well. Never mind. Get 
Get your hand out of my face. Ooh. Somebody's uh, about to lose some precious little black spots. Okay, I can only move this backwards. Oh, oh, I didn't know that you. Could, oh, I don't know that that did that. Okay, and then do that, and then do that. I win. Huh. Well, it's not as it's not as dumb as the other one, but. <laughs> it's not exactly fun either. It's just confusing and boring, but I guess that's what you did back then. Uh, so, can't really complain. Oh, what's going on here? Captain? Mr. Kenway! I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard and apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. Oh. Noble, huh? This guy keeps getting more and more interesting. Hello? Do I talk to you or... Oh. Up here. Hello, sir. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms in troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? I. But the Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well-trained. They will surely keep us safe. Hmm. Certainly hope so. And then all will be well. Oh? Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Oh, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. Excuse so, me? And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Are you sure you want to do this? Swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fellas, call this off. If the captain sees the us. To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on anyway? <clears throat> We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Do you yield? Never! Nope. Oh. Hey! These odds. Come on now. It's no need for this. Meaning 
meaning of this? Oh. Captain, explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Mr. Kenway. Captain? Yes? Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. Hmm. Some sort of mutiny is afoot, it seems. Claims were not provisioned for such luxuries. Is no Gentlemen? You looking for another fight? Is that it? Go away. I mean, I know it's, it's I know it's almost been a month since the last fight, but you do remember what happened last time, right? Unless the uh Sea sickness has gone to you. Gone to you real hard. Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads to both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. They're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit... rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. I see. Am I crazy, but... I mean, y you all saw that, right? It said, it said tw day twenty-eight, and I thought, uh, I thought at the beginning it said day two. So why is why is everyone talking like only like an hour had passed, not twenty-six days? <sighs> Whatever, I'll I'll just ignore it. I'll pretend like we're in the same day. Hello. I got nothing to say to you. Why not? Oh. All right. Whatever. 
All right, let's see what's. Uh, oh, got to go to the top deck, right? Is that what's going on? Oh no, who's this? You there? I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Oh. Then I'll talk to the doctor or cook. A uh, doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken ill? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain you or the passengers. You sound just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me... Of course, Doctor. I'll be on my way. Sorry to bother you. Are you James? Hi. Haytham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Alright. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? Hmm. All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Right. All right. We're gonna. Oh, look! For, looking for some clues. Evening, sir. Hello. How are things? Calm and quiet, just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit, stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. Oh. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Huh. What's that all about? You know something about this? You must expose whatever they're plotting. Your crew is a tight-lipped bunch. But I'll see what I can do. Well, hurry up! Oh. Okay. I'll get back to it then. He's got a ration. Here we go. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right based on land. What do we got here? We're stuck with tinned mm. fish and biscuits. Curious. Hmm. Most curious. Okay. Now what? Oh. Now five days go by. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, 
and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! Oh. She's making ready to fire! Feet to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hmm. Hate him. Oh. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't uh. notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? On guard. Ouch, she's. Down you go, Mills. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. Then I will. All right. All right. All right. To the storm we go. your sail for you.
Alright. Fix the sails. Let's go secure the rigging. Uh. Oh. The hell is that? Deploying sail. We're finally here, I think. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Hmm. Not a bad idea, I suppose. Finally arrived at Boston. Acquired twenty eight fifty pounds. Sure. Won't say no to that. 